Hi, today we concern with use of compound microscope. Is it compound microscope? Yes, it is compound microscope because it has more than one magnifying lenses. So here you can see. So this is one lens and this is another lens. It is commonly used for laboratory purposes. Know the working mechanism. First switch on from the main source. Okay. Now switch on microscope switch. In this way we can adjust the light intensity in this way. This note for light adjustment. So this light passes through the parser condenser at the stays and then from stays objective lens and via objective lens eyepiece and then finally in our eyes the microscope is binocular because it carries two eyepiece for both eyes now about parts of compound microscope okay it is mainly divided into three subheadings one is microscope stand another is stays and other is microscope optics so let's know about the microscope stand microscope stand it is the main framework of the microscope consisting main tube body tube and arm which supports the main tube body tube and the stays then a sub stays and foot or base that supports the whole body instrument rests this one is the base or foot then stays so know about the stays a fixed platform with an opening in the center this one allow for the passage of light from an illuminating source this one below the lens system below the this is the lens so below the lens system it provides surface for the placement of slide over the central opening stays can be fixed or mechanical so mechanical stays can be moved vertically or horizontally by means of rack and pinion movement stage contains clips this one this one on its surface to hold the slide now about microscope optics so optics means light these include objective this one objective lens objectives and this one is the eyepiece condenser and illuminating source 
Now about mechanical adjustment of a microscope. It is being carried out to focus a specimen examined by the microscope. This adjustment includes coarse and fine focusing adjustment. So this one is the coarse and this one is the fine and condenser adjustment here condenser this condenser so coarse and fine focusing adjustments the coarse adjustment is required when focusing the specimen So here you can see yes this large one is coarse adjustment is required when focusing the specimens with low power objective it is carried out by rapid and relatively large movement of the stays which contains the specimen yes this is the coarse adjustment and this one is small is fine adjustment coarse adjustment is only used for 10x now about fine adjustment is carried out when Fine focusing is required by using 40x objectives or well immersion objectives. Here you can see. Objective lens is shifted at 40x. So here you can see. By using fine image is clear. Isn't it? Now about condenser adjustment. Here you can see the condenser adjustment system consists of a focusing. Yes, here you can see focusing. It is done by moving the condenser up and down. So here you can see it is done by moving the condenser up and down in this way. Here you can see yes, Ad adjustment of aperture in this way. And about illuminating source. The light source is electric light. Okay. In this way, you became able to know the parts of compound microscope in brief. Yes, this one is the foot. First, this was the electric supply from the main switch. This one is the switch off microscope and this is the light adjustment knob in this way we can adjust the intensity of light and this light is passed through this way this is the aperture and this one condenser this is the fine adjustment and this one is the coarse adjustment this is the mechanical stage which can be by this this one is the resolving nose piece by the help of this lens can be adjusted this one is the mechanical stage and this one clip This one is the stage micrometer. 
used to measure the size of microorganism. This is the objective lens 4x, 10x, 40x. This one is the 100x. This one is the resolving nose piece. By the help of this, we can change the lenses. Eyepiece. This one, eyepiece, eyepiece. It may be of 5x, 10x, or 15x. But here, these are of 10x. We are going to observe a specimen. That is the sputum gram stem slide. We are trying to observe by this microscope. Practically, here you can see this one is the slide. We are going to focus 10x. So, according to the objective lens, we can so we can adjust the aperture. So, when you are using 10x objective, you can first use course adjust course adjustment then you can also use for clarity fine adjustment you have used 10x objective and 10x eyepiece so it is 100 times greater than its actual size so this is epithelial cell and this one post cell at 10x objective so let's try to observe at 40x so in this condition we have to only use fine adjustment and shift 10 to 40x objective but we have to also adjust aperture and nothing more at 40x so aperture adjusted for that okay so this is the blurred image so you can use fine adjustment in this way yes here you can see this is so these images at 40x objective and our eyepiece is 10x so it is 400 times greater than its actual size this one is the epithelial cell and this one is the post cell now try to cover 100x Yes, shift 100x objective. This is also called well immersion objective. So there is need of well that is called cedar wood well. This one. In this condition. you can adjust aperture at 100x and find adjustment yes this one is the fine adjustment for clarity of the image and moving the aperture and we have also move condenser in this way here you can see yes here you can see images at 
100 x objective so they are thousand times greater than its actual size so here you can see this one is the post cell this one is the epithelial cell and they are bacteria this one this one this one this one now key notes always observe or focus at 10x and then shift to 40x or 100x objective if you use 100x objective use oil that is cedar wood oil if image is not clear then you can only use fine adjustment but not coarse adjustment if your lens is dirty only clean with wiping lens paper or xylem if you have to carry this microscope point to be noted put your one hand to hold base and another to arm then only carry the microscope after use wipe objective lens with wiping paper After use wipe lenses with wiping paper. Leave objective lens at 10x objective position. Switch off first from microscope and then from main switch. Finally, cover the microscope so this one is the xylene used to clean the lenses this one is tissue paper alternative to wiping lens paper i hope this clip will be helpful thank you for watching have a great day